CCW. This is the place to be. Look at this. We got the man. Introduce the man, Pablo. This is my longtime friend, uh, world champion, many different places, different parts of the country. Brian Madness himself. Can a see a longtime friend of me, and I'm happy to have him here. Pablo Marquez! We all know Pablo. Pablo's traveled the world. He's doing his CCW training the students, involved in the action and all. Gotta ask you about somebody, Rusty Brooks. What has Rusty Brooks meant to wrestling, especially in South Florida? There would be no wrestling training centers if it wasn't for someone like Rusty Brooks, who almost paved the way for guys like me to come here in South Florida and help the younger guys. So Rusty's was very important, uh, very part, a uh, very important part of South Florida wrestling training, uh, and uh, we love him. Pablo, what does it meant when you're able to? get some advice or talk to Rusty. What does it mean to you it and to help It means everything. You know, me and Rusty go way back and, uh, you know, he's helped me a lot and he's also, uh, you know, before his health issues, was coming regularly, frequently to the Main Event Training Center here in South Florida and if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be where we're at today and we love him and uh, God bless you, Rusty, and get better soon. Thank you, Pablo. Pleasure. Ronin Pro Wrestling here, Broward College South. John Beaver is here. He's calling the action. But he also could do a lot more. We're going to get into that in a little bit. I want to first talk to the School of Hard Knocks, Rusty Brooks. Yes, sir. You got your start there. Tell us first what it was like being at the School of Hard Knocks. Rusty Brooks is one of the most knowledgeable guys that I've ever met in far, as far as pro wrestling goes. I've been to a couple different schools. His was my final school that I went to. Uh, he imparted so much knowledge, not just about wrestling in the ring, but when you're talking on the mic, when you're cutting promos, when you're backstage, when you're dealing with promoters, when you're dealing with people that you don't know, uh, how to carry yourself, and you know, just generally everything about the wrestling business. He has so much knowledge, so wealth, and he's such a, just a great guy. And you know, I absolutely loved all of my time there, and I would not trade it for anything in the world. Rusty has done so much. He's wrestled around the world. He's wrestled some huge talent, and he's been able to pass that along to you all. What do you think? as far as getting the knowledge and the training you got from him, and also how humble the guy is. Yeah. Speak a little bit about that. Uh, it's, you know, uh, Rusty almost always goes to the shows that his students uh, were on. Like, if it was a D1PW show, if it was an ICW show, uh, Rusty was there. Rusty was there with his students. He would sit and would watch. And if you come to him and you ask him, hey, Rusty, how was my match? Or, Rusty, what did I do right? Or, what did I do wrong? Rusty will flat out tell you. He doesn't pull punches. He will tell you exactly what it is. If you screwed something up, Rusty will tear you down. He will let you know just how badly you screwed up. But that's not to say that he does it to be mean. He does it as a constructive criticism. It's, it's always constructive. Like, he has a great sense of humor, and he loves to joke around, but at the same time, when it comes to get down to business, Rusty will let you know exactly what it is that you need to do to better yourself. What do you like most about Rusty? Uh, I got his sense of humor. Rusty is by far one of the most jovial, jolly, just happy guys that I've ever met. And to see that wrestling has not changed him, it's not jaded him to the world, and he's not a bitter, grizzled old veteran like a lot of people are after they've been in the wrestling business for so long, it's just so great to see him just smiling and joking all the time. Do you have any social media for us for you? Uh, I do. Uh, I am on uh, Instagram, at John X Machina. If you guys look follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, at Merc with a Mouth, just like Deadpool. Uh, if you guys would like to come follow me on Facebook, I'll be your friend. My name's John Bieber. I'm a great guy. And I got a whole lot of uh, fellow great guys here at Ronin, including the man behind the camera. Jim, thank you very much. Thank you. No problem. We're here at Ronin Pro Wrestling tonight at Broward College Gym in oh, yeah. Pembroke Pines, beautiful Pembroke Pines, yeah. Florida. One of the manager extraordinaires, manager yeah. of tech. There you go. Mike Monroe and T.C. Reed. This is the man, Jim Sherbert. Jim, I want to ask you, you got your start at the School of Hard Knocks. Oh, yeah. That was run by Rusty Brooks. What was that time like training at the School of Hard Knocks with the legendary Rusty Brooks? Well, this was a long time ago. When I first started, I was about 14 years old, and because Mike and Trevor are a little bit older than me, so when I got into the business with them, I wanted to wrestle at first, and then one day I had got injured during a scrim, so I took a little time off because I really hurt myself like badly. It was like a neck injury. I still kind of have problems to this day, but then I think a year passed, and then I started doing managing with Mike and Trevor. And then, you know, I kept going into school just to hang out because Rusty's, you know, a fun guy. I like to pick at his brain. 
And with time, he just kept giving me compliments and then, you know, critiquing everything. Like, he was at every show back then. And then he would tell me I was like a young Jim Cornette and things like motivate my spirits. And it was really like I appreciate everything he's ever done for me. So wrestling and starting from Rusty Brooks School is really like <clears throat> it's a home because all the like there's a certain few people that are still around that came from there. And like I'm still buddies with them for now. It's been like six, seven years. So it's been quite a ride, but I enjoyed every minute of it. You mentioned Rusty's knowledge. Yeah, just yeah. this is unbelievable. I mean, if you're in South Florida, we all know Rusty, but Rusty even did some work for WWF yeah. at the time. Got in there with Hulk Hogan. Got in there with there huge stars, and he's traveled a lot. It, it's just something that we have somebody like that yeah. with us in South Florida to exactly. train people. What does that mean to you? It's awesome. And the funny thing is that Rusty, my childhood house, like where I grew up, it's literally the next street over. So I moved away after a while, but like when I was like seven years old, I, I lived a, like. Four houses down from Rusty, so it's kind of crazy that it's a small world and didn't know somebody that was four houses down from me. Like has been traveling around the world wrestling with Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan. It, it was crazy, it blew my mind. But having him to have, like, have all that knowledge and be able, like Mike and Trevor, to be able to pick at it, and we always like go back and we, we visited him as much as we can. But every time we do, we always got something to say, like something important that we take in, and he's never not had something new or some better advice to give us, which has been fantastic. I couldn't appreciate Rusty even more than I do, and it's gonna keep growing and growing and growing until the day I die. Now, Jim, you have social media? Oh, yes, I'm at Twitter at Jim Bear Live, and then just follow the Tech Squad Facebook at, I think it's facebook.com slash tech for life, or Tech Squad Pro Wrestling, one of the two. Just look up Tech Wrestling, and it's gonna blow up on your Google search, because that's all there is, because tech is for life. Hi, CW here. In the wrestling sensation, this guy's done so much in his career. He's oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Continuing to do his thing. Max Stardom. First of all, I always love the name Max Stardom. That's a, that's a great wrestling name. For you, what does it mean? What does Rusty Brooks meant to you? Well, everybody knows I was trained with Soul Man at XG. Midway through my training, then I met Rusty. Rusty had a, a ring in his backyard. He told me to come by. I met his son, J-Dog. After that, he just reopened the school of hard knocks. We had a great time together, and Rusty taught me everything that I was missing from charisma to a character to building who I am, and that's Max Storm. As a matter of fact, he helped me make my name. Rusty followed me throughout my career. He pushed me to the top, and I owe everything that I've done, I owe to him and Soul Man. So I can say Rusty's like a dad to me. Rusty is here tonight at the Big ICW Lucha Fest 4. What's it like too when he's able to come out and watch you guys compete? I mean, every time that I took a bump, every time that I did a drop kick, every time that I did a punch, I looked his way and made sure he was looking and he was smiling. And I was making sure that I did my job just how he expected when he taught me for the first time. So it's it, it's just like having your parents watch you for the first time. Having Rusty at ringside is a, is a privilege and I appreciate him and I wouldn't be here without him. So I owe him my whole entire career. Thank you, Max. Double X. Stardom. That's right. At Anime Florida here at the Broward County Convention Center or Fort Lauderdale County Convention Center. Look at this. I've got indie wrestler Aaron Agony. Yes, Aaron. There we go. Now I want to ask Aaron because he was trained in the group that was trained by Rusty Brooks, legendary Rusty Brooks. So first thing I'm going to ask you is how did you get started? How did you find Rusty Brooks and the training facility? Um, well, honestly, when I first wanted to start training as a wrestler, um, it, 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 it didn't become a, a matter of where or if, it was a matter of how much, you know? So, uh, but every every place that I looked for was like, you know, thousands of dollars down, and I'm just, just like, just turned 18, you know? So, I, I looked online for something cost efficient. I, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to be dirt cheap, but I wasn't, I, I, I couldn't afford as a kid, you know, uh, uh, this glorious, you know, upbringing. And thankfully, Rusty had something that was affordable, you know, and, and, um, I found him through, uh, actually I found him through ICW's website because they were like the, the, the closest thing to me locally, like wrestling wise. And um, when I contacted them, uh, I, I just said, hey, you know, I want to just check it out and, and see what it's like. And he was like, come by, whatever. Like, These are the days we train. If you, if you want to do it, you can keep doing it. So um, 
I, I ended up actually having family two exits away from where Rusty and uh, Rusty had his school and stuff. So uh, it just so happened to be a great coincidence. And after I checked out the school, I relocated. I moved in with my, my grandfather and my brother. And thankfully, they were around to do so because I lived all the way in Homestead. So I would have to drive like an hour to train every day. Um, and then um, at the time, uh, J Dog and Flex, J Dog Brooks and uh, Flex Magnum were heavily involved also in the training process. And um, uh, at first, honestly, when I when I started training, I mean, I, I completely relocated to train at the school. And there was a handful of students, maybe I want to say six to ten students at the time. And then when we started really picking up, we started getting more guys to come, like more local indie guys who had already been trained. Because of that building up, we started getting more guys who wanted to learn how to train. And then at, at, at some points, we had 20 guys in a line waiting to get in the ring, to get some ring time. And then we went from training two days a week to training four days a week, because we had so many guys that wanted to learn and so many guys who wanted just a spot to train so we kind of mixed a little bit of both and we had you know the younger guys working with the, the guys who have been around a little bit longer so uh, that's kind of how I got involved and I first started which I'm super thankful because without that I wouldn't be where I'm at today and uh, so yeah Rusty was a great experience training with him and at his school. What was it like working with Rusty the knowledge and just all that he had to offer? Well um, when I started Rusty's Ru Rusty's health was beginning to, to get a little worse, um, and then it picked up a little better. Um, so, like I said, J Dog Brooks and, and Flex were more physically and would get in the ring and teach us the moves and show us how to do stuff. But Rusty was always there as you know he he would over always overwatch everything. He was always there to critique, and trust me, he he always spoke his mind, um, which he's very good at doing. I'm sure, if you know Rusty, you know that. Um, but yeah. And, and he was always there to tell us what looked good and what looked bad and what we needed to improve on. And he, he the one thing he really did work with us on was uh, psychology and uh, mic skills. He was always the guy, we had the camera rolling and he was always the guy behind it telling us, okay, that looked like crap, let's do it again. And he would make us do it. There were, there were practices, we would show up and do nothing but promos and we would do nothing but psychology work, which was awesome because in my opinion, that's, that's something that I still with me every single day. I used the stuff that, that Rusty taught me and, and, and Flex and, and J-Dog also taught me. So. And Aaron, what is it like that there is someone like a Rusty Brooks here in South Florida? I mean, uh, honestly, like, I, I don't even have words to describe because you have someone who's been around the business so many more years than me and probably a handful of the guys he's trained combined, but um, someone who's seen it all. You know, you, you, you have where wrestling kind of had his heydays in, 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 in Hulk Hogan and he was there. And then he was been around long enough to see it evolve to what it is today. So, I mean, uh, one, one thing that I love is, you know, you would hit somebody and Rusty would be like, oh crap, that was awesome. And you, we have a guy that's been around that long and you make a believer out of him, then it's like, wow, like, you know, it, it's a good confidence booster. And it's it's also good to have someone who instills the old school psychology because there was definitely a lot of old school psychology instilled in us, but also someone who could apply it to the new school way we would work. I mean, like I said, even though he couldn't get in the ring with us, he still knew when uh, a bad high spot was a bad high spot, you know, regardless of whether or not he could do it himself, he would tell you whether or not it looked good or not. So, yeah, I think, I mean, having him around helped tenfold with with me personally. All right, Aaron, thank you much. Do you have any social media no problem. for fans? Yeah, uh, Instagram at oh, the Agony, uh, Facebook, uh, Aaron McCoy. I go by my real name, but I, it's a fan page too, so you can add me on that. Uh, I don't use Twitter, so don't bother looking. If you see one, it's probably fake. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. I uh, just wanted to say, Rusty, thank you personally. You, like I said, I mean, you've helped my career to the max. I, I, there's, there's people I can count on my hand who have really, really helped me in this business, and Rusty's at the top of the list. So thank you, Rusty. Here at ICW, Big Wrestling Show tonight, and I have indie wrestling, South Florida mainstay. Flex Magnum is with us. Flex, what has it been like with Rusty Brooks and what has he meant to South Florida? Well, Rusty, uh, Rusty's an icon 
when it comes to South Florida wrestling. Most everybody that has started on the indie scene in South Florida was trained by Rusty Brooks. Several competitors that have wrestled throughout the years for the WWE were trained by Rusty Brooks. I mean, he's the ultimate professional. Uh, he teaches the guys how to be professional, not only how to wrestle, but how to be professional, how to carry yourself, and how to represent the school that trained you. And what's it been like? Because you've traveled, worked with Rusty on many shows as well as wrestlers. What has that been like for you? It's, you know, it's, it's been a total pleasure. I mean, me personally, Rusty is like a brother to me. Uh, you know, we, we started out as, as, as teacher-student, and the bond developed, you know, and then we became partners in some things. Um, and uh, just traveled the road together, and it's been a blast. I have learned so much. Everything that I know about this business, I have learned from Rusty. And I have taken pride in trying to present myself with the professionalism uh, that he does because it's a reflection on his teachings. Thank you much, Flex. Thank you, Jim.